drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. I'm here today to do a clip, which is a kind of a follow-up clip to a clip I did a couple of months back that has to do with these uh, parabolic reflectors. And in that clip, I kind of made the claim that these things really improve the signal strength of the controller by reflecting more of that RF signal downstream towards your drone. And I, I got a couple of um, interesting comments that sort of said, no, they don't. We've tested them. They don't work. You're making stuff up and you're blowing smoke. And, you know, as an engineer, I'm a little offended by that because I know you don't want to trust me because you don't really know me. But um, from my experience, it's been a really good thing. So what I thought I'd do today is set up a real experiment here using an EMF meter. And this EMF meter, electromagnetic field meter, which basically reads magnetics, it reads RF signals. And this is going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that once I put the meter there, sliding the, the uh, parabolics over the antennas and taking them off, you'll see that signal strength at the exact same distance away from the controller go up and go down depending on if those antenna boosters are on there or not. So hopefully this will put this question to rest once and for all. I'm happy to do these kind of experiments. If there's other things you want to see around the drone, let me know. But I really felt like I owed it to you because I made that claim earlier and I'm not one of those guys to make empty claims. I'm not here to sell you stuff. I'm not here to promote different things. Even though we have a website, we offer a lot of these things for sale. It's not about that for me. It's about enhancing your experience out there droning. Um, and I just felt like somebody was calling me out and I had to come out here and actually prove that what I'd said was true. So Hopefully this will be something you'll enjoy, and uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, please at the end of this, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments below, and we're happy to get back to you. So here we go with the experiment. Stay tuned. I'm going to set it up, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so now I'd like to try the test. What we've got set up here on the table is the controller over here. It's the standard controller you get with your P3 or P4. I've got an EMF meter on that side, which is measuring the amount of RF that this transmitter is putting out. It's turned on at this point, so the numbers you're seeing, and I'm going to put this as an inset in the video, the numbers you're seeing are the standard transmission values for what the controller can put out unmodified. And you'll notice that they're jumping around a little bit. The reason for that is the controller has eight different channels that it broadcasts on, so it's between 13 and 20, and those are different frequencies. And the reason it does that is because it's rotating through those frequencies on a regular basis to make the best connection possible to your drone. That way, if you're flying in an area where there's interference and something happens to get in the way of your signal, it'll jump to the next available channel and it'll actually make that connection. So it does that while you're flying. It's a seamless connection. You don't have to think about it. But that's the reason those numbers are varying a little bit, because the different frequencies may have a better connection or put out a little bit more power. But if you look at them, I'm looking for an average. So I'm around 2.4, 2.5. That's 2.8. There's a 2.39. 2.4. So you're somewhere in that two and a half range or three range. If I'm being generous, I'm going to say it's hovering around a three. It's actually a little lower than that. All I'm going to do at this point is slide this parabolic reflector on top of those antennas. And as I described in the last uh, clip that I did, what this is going to do is it's going to take this 360 degree radiation pattern that's happening right now with these antennas, and it's going to force all of that signal out in this direction, which should be reflected on that meter over there. You should see a big difference in the amount of power that's generated. So right now, again, 2.27, 2.53. The minute I slide this on top of the antennas, you can see that jump up to 12, 12.1, 11.9 was a second ago, 12.7. So by any measure, um, you're much higher with that reflector on there. You're seeing a big increase in the amount of RF signal that's being passed this direction downfield towards your drone. Um, what's nice about that is, for me, it does two things, like I mentioned in the last video. It guarantees that when I'm flying at distance, I've got the strongest possible signal being thrown downfield to connect to my drone. But the other thing I like about it is when I'm flying in close quarters and I've got a noise source near me, whether it's Wi-Fi or power cables or something that's causing a lot of interference locally, having that extra power being thrown towards the drone means that I'm going to be able to overcome those signals and I won't have interference as much. I won't lose video. It won't be choppy. Heaven forbid I lose you know, connection with the drone and I, it flies out of control. So by having those on there, I'm guaranteeing the biggest possible signal that's being generated by the controller naturally is being thrown downfield towards that drone. Now, just to show you that this isn't some kind of chicanery here, I'm going to actually take it off. So we're at about a 12.7 right now, 12.1, 12.3. So I'll just slide this guy off and set him down. And we've dropped down to a 2.43, 2.39, 2.55. So again, even if I consider that to be a 3 average, I'm 4x more powerful once those controller, once the parabolics are slid over those antennas. What I like about this too is that I'm a bit of a cheapskate, so spending money on expensive upgrades and mods is not something I like to do. I also don't like to crack open a controller because it's such a delicate device. This is a $15 item in most cases. Um, just carrying that with you and sliding it on those antennas takes about eight seconds to put it on there, and you're guaranteeing that your signal strength is going to be better downfield. And again, I know I've taken some grief from some of the haters out there about, hey, this thing really doesn't work, you're making it up, you're blowing smoke. I hope that by showing you how that meter's really been impacted by it, that scientifically we've proven that it absolutely does take more of the signal that's being generated again in a 360-degree pattern and force that downfield towards your drone. 
The other side benefit is that when this reflector is on there, less of that signal is coming back towards you. Now that may not seem like a big deal, and I'm not a scientist or a biologist, so I don't really know what the effect of RF signals on the human body are, but I don't like the fact that I've got stray radiation coming back at me um, that I don't really know what impact it's going to have on my body. So this does two things for me. It takes more of the signal and forces it downstream towards the drone, in addition to which it, it lessens the amount of signal that's coming back towards me. So overall, I think it's a great little device. And again, I hope today this little experiment has proven that it absolutely does have an impact on your transmitter's capability and, and increasing your signal strength downfield. All right, so what I was hoping to show you there was basically that that parabolic antenna can have an impact on your signal strength downstream. You saw from the meter that the minute I slipped it on, it increased by almost 3x, which is really a big difference between the standard antenna and sliding that parabolic on top of it. Um, I like it an awful lot because it's one of my favorite cheap kind of upgrades that I can put on my Phantom 3. It fits both the Phantom 3 controller the Phantom 4 controller. Uh, it won't fit the Phantom 3 standard because that's got a different antenna setup, but the, uh, the Advanced and the Professional will fit for the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4 uh, as well. There are different versions that will fit a single antenna as well if you've got one of those. But um, I'm hoping this puts to rest that question about does this thing really work? Because I did take a little bit of grief from some of the people that commented on the last clip saying it doesn't work, we've tested it. It's a bunch of shenanigans, don't waste your money on it, but um, I use it every time I fly and I really do find a big difference in the performance of the drone. So hopefully seeing the meter actually reflect the fact that the RF has gone up will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it does work, and hopefully you found this helpful. So if you did, please be sure to subscribe below. I welcome comments, good and bad, so make sure you comment on this as well. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll get back to you. As long as you guys are enjoying these, we'll continue to do them. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Have a great evening.